Retro Pays. Whether by board. The name of the game is Monday Night Football. Bits. Or vibrating playing field. Game creators developed all sorts of ways of bringing the excitement of professional football into our homes in the 70s and 80s and beyond. He passes, complete touchdown! I'm Football One, Mattel's lowest price electronic football game. Yes, command control, where the running back and the defensive backs are under your control at all times. In 1986, it was the best of both worlds, screens and tabletops at the same time. Thanks to Interactive Games VCR Quarterback Game. Let's play football. You're on. Now you can get more out of football. VCR Quarterback is the NFL game with great VCR action. As a VCR quarterback, you call the plays and the pros run them for you. This game board and cassette have hundreds of the best plays in NFL history. The NFL VCR Quarterback Game. It's a VCR games were in their heyday at this time. We recently looked back at some of the most popular offerings of the 80s and the 90s. Link in the description. While the football game wasn't included in our list, it was brought up in the comments. Retro Day subscriber Nick Woos mentioned how the VCR NFL game was really fun too. In this video, we're going to open one up and give it the attention it deserves and find out if it's still worth playing today. You're looking at the newest addition to the retro collection here in Alaska, the VCR quarterback game. Inside the football field board, red and blue playing pieces to keep track of the score and down, large football to keep track of your place on the field, first down chains, a die, which is for field goals and punts. You've got the cards and the VHS tape. It's a two-player game, one person's on offense, the other's on defense. Now, I'm not going to take a deep dive into the directions. I think that'd be kind of boring. We're going to have a fun overview of the game and really look at what's on that VHS. Bradshaw hands off to Franco. First things first, after picking up a kickoff card to determine where you'll start on the field, the player on offense chooses a run or pass card and moves down the field accordingly. Now, the most you'll ever gain from one of these cards is 15 yards, so no big plays to speak of just yet. On the defensive side, there's not a lot you have control of other than throwing out a penalty card here and there. Although the game does a good job of mixing in some turnovers, sacks, and plays that result in a loss of yards. The real fun begins on both sides of the ball when the player with possession draws that VCR card. This is when Hall of Famers and vaunted defenses from football's past take over. Page comes in untouched and leveled him. When you first set the game up, you're going to pause the VHS on the timeout screen, leaving you ready to hit that play button when the VCR card is drawn. The play that follows is what happens in your game. Briefly, Tazanka, he's got blockers out in front of him. The video is straight from NFL films, mostly in that silky smooth slow-mo, often developing dramatically. And the audio is priceless. Tarkenton. It's all dubbed over. You'll hear the same announcer for all 200 or so plays, capturing the uh, emotion of the moment. And he runs into the steel curtain. <laughs> Uh, then there's the sound effects, which are more like a precursor to Madden 95. Th this is one of my favorites, for example. Namath hands off to Snell. He breaks around the left side. Priceless. We get highlights from all 19 Super Bowls played up to that point, among other games. Which means a heavy dose of Steelers, Cowboys, 49ers, Colts, Jets, Dolphins, Packers, Vikings, Raiders, Redskins, and Bengals. Whereas if you're a Tampa Bay, Saints, Lions, Chargers, or Falcons fan, for instance, it's going to be slim pickings. The rest of the league is somewhere in between. Now, I took the liberty of watching the entire tape to give you a breakdown on what to expect. Among a plethora of classic and well-known displays of athleticism is a 75-yard passing touchdown from Johnny Unitas to John Mackey in Super Bowl V. The ball is tipped, but it's caught by number 88! He could go all the way! Touchdown, Colt! And an 85-yard rushing touchdown by Tony Dorsett. He breaks to the line. There's nobody out in front of him. He could go all the way! Tony Dorsett goes 85 yards for a touchdown! Those are the longest pass and run plays in the game, respectively. 
Remember how I said the game does a decent job of helping the defense out? Well, not only are there plenty of big hits resulting in a loss of yards or turnovers of the 200 plays on the VHS, there are eight touchdowns. Five of them are defensive scores. It's intercepted by the Dolphins! Granted, that's still just a 2.5% chance of scoring a defensive touchdown, but still better than the 1.5% chance the offense has. Incomplete. Also of note, the first point scored by the offense on the VHS, that doesn't come until 51 minutes into the tape, and of all things, it's a safety. Yeah, just two points. How? Well, remember the he's going the wrong way play? Wait a minute, he's going the wrong way! When the purple people eaters Jim Marshall scooped up that fumble and took it 66 yards to the wrong house. It's a safety! That'll do it. All of that said, the winner is the first team to 22 points. So, still worth playing today? Absolutely. The first few run-throughs, so much fun. Reliving those moments, reminiscing about my favorite players growing up, Joe Montana, the New York Sack Exchange, and having those moments dictate the game? It's pretty awesome. Now I admit, it can get a little slow, and if you play too many times, you'll eventually have an idea of which plays to expect next on the VHS, although you've gotta play a lot for that to happen. My recommendation, round up your boys, a few adult beverages, and save this for those special football events on the calendar. The Fantasy Draft, Super Bowl Sunday, kickoff weekend, I got mine for less than 25 bucks with shipping. Totally worth it. Full disclosure, I don't even have a working VCR in here, so you won't need one. Just find it on YouTube like I did, and you can play from anywhere you like, from your laptop, your phone, it works out pretty well. Did you have this game growing up? Any fond memories playing with your friends or dad? Will you consider getting it now? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this trip down football memory lane, kindly sack that like button and subscribe to Retro Days. The community here is growing by leaps and bounds, and we really want you to be a part of it. I'd also like to invite you to check out my 80s and 90s channel called Nostalgic. Got a link for you in the description. Good times over there, too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon to celebrate more of yesteryear. Clicky, clicky.